let's have a look at task 1D. And for this task, the really important thing is to carefully read the instructions. It's telling us up at the top we're going to be creating and printing a database report. Fine, that's one thing. As we look down, we're looking here, there's a concern about ticket sales in two venues only. It then goes on to ask us to search the database. When you're asked to search a database, that is asking you to do a query. So you'll be asked to do a query first and then produce a report. It's giving us information about the report. It's telling us we're going to have to sort it alphabetically by town and also in descending order of number of tickets. Then it goes on to talk about the actual report and the report is to show only the name of the ticket holder, the number of tickets and the town. So this is what we're going to do. We need to create a query first and if you remember up to create and then to uh, query design. Remember we can bring our two tables, they are linked together and we have them sitting there ready to go looking at all the fields and thinking when we do our query and a report what information do we need. Now here's one way to think about it. We'll try it one way then I'll show you another way. So I can see there that it's showing, it's asking us only to show the ticket holder name, number of tickets and town. So let's say we do that first. Let's just bring down what it's asking, the name of the ticket holders and the number of tickets and the town. If I run that just to get my head into what I'm looking at here, I can see here, okay, we've got tickets and we've got town, but it's only looking for Braidwood Lodge and Saturno Halls. So unless you can remember from the town which venue relates to what town, I would suggest you go back and we also bring down the field for the venue, venue name. If I run it again, it's now bringing the various venue names. But remember, it's asking to search only for Braidwood Lodge and Saturno Halls. So I need to go back to my design and I'll just close the add table section here and under venue name I'm going to ask it specifically to look for and I'm just going to try type in Braidwood Lodge and I'm going to use or and then Saturno Halls and then we're going to run that and see if it's worked and yes it has so actually right now this could just about be turned into the report but we also have to sort alphabetically by town and descending order by tickets. So if we go into view and back into design and say, right, we know we want the town to be ascending, fine. And we want number of tickets to be descending, that's fine. I don't want venue name actually to be on my report. So I'll untick that, have a little look and I can see, okay, great. It has given us our tickets in descending order, but the town is not in ascending order. So it hasn't quite worked. And that is because a database could only sort from left to right. It started with number of tickets and then it's moved on to town. But I want it to be alphabetically by town first. But remember the report only wants it to show the title, the first name, the last name, number of tickets and town in that order. So we're going to have to do something to show the town in alphabetical order. And here's how you do it. I'm going to go to the number of tickets field and I'm going to go up the top and click on insert columns. And then what I'm going to do is from the drop down options, I'm actually going to find town again under the venues table. And I want this column to be sorted alphabetically ascending A to Z because remember the database can only sort from left to right. So I want it to sort the town first and then the number of tickets. 
but remember for the report, the report wants us to have the name, the number of tickets, the town in that order. So if I untick town and have a little look, let's run that, I can see that I have managed to sort my tickets in descending order from highest to lowest, but the town is in alphabetical order. So I've just set up my query to match the report I want. So I really think it's well worth your while spending time getting it done right. You can keep running it and checking it to make sure you've got everything you need so that when you do create your report, it will be very easy for you to do. Something to remember also is when you are saving your work and saving a query, the default will come out, will come up, um, you know, query one. Save it and give it a name that's easy to find again. Don't just leave it as query one, query two, but actually give it a name that makes sense to you. In this case, I've given it um, the, the name, the task 1D, which is the task that we're on. Now, to, to create a report, we're in create and we're going along to report wizard. Now, you'll see in my example that the query has come up there. If you go to the right of that, I just remind you now the options you have is your table as you've had before and the query that you have set up. And because you spent time getting everything for your query, the report is just going to be a case of taking all these fields and taking all the fields across to get started. Hit next. We want to view the data just as we're seeing it. We don't want to do, make any changes, that's fine. Click on next. We're not going to group it. Hit next again. We've actually already sorted it um, in descending order for the ticket, so we don't have to do anything here. Click on next. We'll leave it as tabular, that's absolutely fine. Orientation, portrait, that is fine. It's not a huge report. Click on next. Now, we were asked to insert a suitable heading. By default, the word tickets has just come up, but we have to give it a suitable heading. Well, what are we creating the report for? It's showing the ticket sales for the Braidwood Lodge and Saturno Halls. So let's just call the heading. Let's just put in here Braidwood Lodge and Saturno Halls ticket sales. Just make sure when you're doing your heading, make your report heading something that looks right, that makes sense to what you're being asked to do. Then we're going to click on finish. Now, in my case, it already exists because I've done one previously to this video. But anyway, I'm just going to say yes. And now I have got my report. So to me, have we done everything here? We've got a suitable heading. Yes, we have. Does the report show by title, by first name, by surname? Yes, ticket holder name, got that. Number of tickets, yes, got that. Town, yes, got that. And the town is descending and the, sorry, the number of tickets are descending and the town is alphabetical. So everything here is right. And the only thing we need to do is to insert a sentence into the report footer. And this is how we do it. So in order to put in a report footer, we have to go back to the design view. So up the top left hand corner here, click down design view. And you'll see that we have the information here. I'll just close the field list down and we've got a report footer. And if you take your mouse and you stretch it down, You'll notice see you've got a page footer and a report footer and it's asking us to put it in the report footer. And we have to put in some text. Now up the top here, you'll see we've got a few options here and we do have text box and we have a label box. And I know text box makes the most sense to insert a text box, but in fact, what you need for a database report is the other one. It is a label. Click on that once and then you can again sort of draw out, stretch out what you need. And then it's asking just to show here information. Oops information correct as at and it'll be whatever date uh, you've you've got all right and then to have a look at that we're just going to click back onto view right and you'll see there that that has you now put your report footer in so that is how you would tackle task 1d